do you still expect Isaiah to be out until January? I don't know. Um, you know, the, the staff is doing a great job just, you know, um, trying to get him ready, trying to get him right. So um, we don't want to rush him back if he's not 100%. So they've been doing a good job of just taking it slow and you know, make sure they're rehabilit rehabilitating him the, the right way. And um, we'll just go from there. The other night, and I don't want to make a big deal out of any one game, um, but I think in the third quarter, Dwayne had only played seven minutes. Um, is he... Did, was was that a product of the pace of that particular game? It was just matchups. Um, you know, to put him on John Wall, to put him on Bradley Bill, it was a tough matchup for him. So um, when those guys came out, I tried to get him in um, to make it easier on him, especially defensively. And the way those guys move and um, the pace they play at, um, I just thought it was fair, you know, D-Way just to try to play against the guys that came off the bench. What did Crowder do the other night that he seemed to, he looked kind of like a finally kind of different player or he was so more much just, more involved? Um, he got to the free throw line. I think he attacked the basket, getting to the paint, um, and, you know, took his open shot. So um, I think he's finding the rhythm, um, understanding what we need from him and understanding where his shots are going to come from. When you face an undermanned team like today against the Hawks with them without some bodies, do you have to address that with your guys? Or I mean, with all the social media, they see it before the game starts anyway. I'd rather not tell them <laughs> because um, we're not good with that stuff, but um, they see it before, before we do any time, anyway most of the time.